internet friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi and I'm on a weight loss journey. If you're not new here, then maybe you saw yesterday's video where I discussed kind of just waking up in a bad mood, not really having a reason for it, and trying to go throughout my day, where I did eventually kind of emotionally eat. Uh, I want to address a couple things on that today because I am in better spirits. I woke up perfectly fine, chipper, not having any issues with getting started with my day. So if you guys were to ask me now, a day later, if I have figured out why I was in a bad mood, my answer would have to be, I don't know, just was. And even though diet and exercise and time outdoors has improved my spirits like immensely, I can still have off days. I literally just woke up that day thinking, fuck, not today. So I, I don't know. There are a plethora of things that could affect our mood. I might be PMSing. I do know that my period is coming up in a week, so maybe that. Uh, maybe I just wasn't having it. <laughs> maybe not enough sleep. There, there's a lot of chances of what could be wrong on that. Uh, the important part was that I did try to overcome and I didn't stay in those bad feelings as long as I normally would. Normally, I would have put myself in bed, grabbed all the snack food I want, and turned on a show like Little Miss Sunshine and wallowed in it. <laughs> and you know, I'm all for a mental health day. Maybe your brain just needs a break sometimes and I've had those days. But yesterday I knew it was something I could easily get past. I mean, I didn't get in a good mood, but I did know I was capable of pushing on, at least getting the things done that needed to be done so that I wouldn't compound the bad feelings by then piling on myself because I didn't get stuff done. Uh, I did mess up on the editing on yesterday's video and I did forget to buy sweet potatoes at the grocery store. I think that just goes to prove that when you're in a bad mood you're more likely to mess up and make it worse. <laughs> Luckily I am not concerned about those things. They are in my mind but there's you know uh, I can buy sweet potatoes another time. The editing yeah it's like a minute long of a shot of quinoa which agitates me but it's it's not it's not a catastrophe like I normally would have made it out to be. I, w I would have been very down on myself for missing that. Whereas today I'm more like, well, you fucked up, move on. And I can also empathize with the fact that I wasn't feeling like my normal self. So, you know, maybe the quality standards weren't going to be as good as I normally would have them. And I do think that a healthy lifestyle change does involve getting yourself into a more positive mindset. I used to say, oh, I have to work out. Now it's more like I get to work out. And the middle ground for that was I'm going to work out. So it, it was a progression of, hey, I am privileged enough to have all of these workout equipment things in my house that I can easily access and I don't have to drive to. I get to do this. I have an able body that allows me to do this. <laughs> So what, it, it has been a shift in perspective. It has been a shift from negative to positive. I can still have those days, but they're not as long. They're getting better. And I could recognize that if I continued to have those negative thoughts, it would be something I would talk to my doctor about because it's not the norm for me anymore. Like when I first started vlogging, I would have the days where I would come on camera and just cry and say, I don't know what's wrong. I can't do it right now. And it would be a 30 second video of me just bawling slow motion usually because I messed up the camera at the same time because you know you mess up when you're upset <laughs> and those days are fewer and further between further and further away I don't know further away something like that I'm also bouncing back a lot quicker and moving throughout the day a lot easier that being said I still did kind of emotionally eat yesterday and I say that because two factors one it wasn't in my plan to eat that I did allow my emotions to let me impulsively choose to eat fast food. Whereas when I do eat fast food, usually it is a choice that I have made, considered, and rational, and it isn't something that I am doing in spite of the day or how I'm feeling, which it was yesterday. And then also the fact that my mood instantly picked up because I ate that stuff means that that food triggered a dopamine response, which can continue a cycle if you're lifting your mood with food. There is a whole gut brain connection and it, it will it will continue a cycle if I continue down that road and I want a healthy relationship with my food. So I want to be making choices based on a rational mind and not an emotion. But I'm again, 
and this is the positive mindset here. I'm not too down on myself because I did at least plug that meal into my net diary before choosing what to eat. I originally was gonna just do a roast beef sandwich. I realized I was gonna be very low on my protein and higher up on my carbs, but if I did a double book, <laughs> but if I did a double roast beef sandwich, that would get me more protein. Do I think that meat is prepared, especially in a healthy way, a way that I would want it prepared? No, I used to work at Arby's. I know how they prepare it. It is, uh, it doesn't even resemble roast beef when it is on the slicer. So, I mean, it tastes good. I did get more protein in, and I do think that it was a better choice than doing just a sandwich and getting more carbs than meat for that meal, if that makes sense. But it, it isn't the choice that I would have made if I had not been in a crap mood. I also chose chocolate. I, at that point, was already feeling the dopamine from fast food. So I was able to rationally realize I did still want a sweet treat. I did realize I was gonna go over by 100. I did realize it was gonna throw my carbs way over my protein and fat. But I was smart enough to go to the bulk foods and only pick out four. So it was a more thought out process. So, so I'm gonna give myself props for that. And I am not striving for perfection. I'm just trying to do the best I can. And yesterday was the best I could do. That being said, Today, I think I'm gonna do really well. I showed this yesterday. Steven got me a smoothie book. This book goes over the servings, the calories per serving, and the macros. I'm gonna be making a cherry cheese Danish smoothie. That sounds amazing to me. There will be 25 carbs, three fiber, 16 fat, and seven protein. I do think that for a smoothie, that carb fat to protein ratio is fairly good. It is mimicking a Danish, so it is going to be a little bit higher up on the carbs. But I think it's decent and I can add some Greek yogurt to add in more protein. I can also pair it with three fried eggs on top of some spinach because the smoothie isn't um, very high in fiber. And I do look for prebiotics, probiotics, and protein in a smoothie. So I'm also going to be changing the recipe a little bit. Since it is in a book form, I don't know if I can find the recipe online to link you guys to it. But just so you guys know, it is the Better Homes and Garden Smoothie, Fruits, Vegetables, Proteins, and More. I'll see if I can find it online. If not, in the description box, I'll put the recipe and credit them. Again, I am going to alter it. First, I'm gonna add Greek yogurt, which it does not call for at all, but it does call for one cup of almond flavored milk with vanilla. This slim, fast, high protein has vanilla in it. I also have almond milk, so I'm just gonna cut that one cup in half and give half of this protein mix and half of the almond milk. I don't think it will change the taste too drastically. I guess I'll let you guys know. And with that being said, I'm gonna start cooking so that I can let you guys know exactly what I think about it. If you got the time, I'd like to stay a while. We met Would you like to move A little closer now I'd like to be as close to you As I can get If I could stop the time about trying new smoothies is seeing the different colorations that it will give me. My normal smoothie, I will admit, does not look that appetizing. I've got chocolate protein. Oh, I forgot to add the Greek yogurt. It's too late now. Um, next time. I was following the recipe on the book to a T, except for switching out the protein 
milk with some of the almond milk or vice versa, switching some of the almond milk for protein milk. So I did forget to add Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is a great way to add more protein into your smoothies though. So next time, if I like it and I have, I have more ingredients so I can make this again. But like I said, I really like checking out what consistency and what color different ingredients will give me in my smoothies. Mine always looks horrible, but it tastes great. Uh, the mango spinach smoothie was super creamy, super green, and it just looked appetizing. And then it turned out to be one of the best smoothies I've ever had in my life. So based on this coloration, I'm excited. That is really good. There's an after flavor that is also very good. Whew, that is good. Okay, so I hate to say it, but I could see me adding vodka to this. <laughs> Definitely could add vodka to this. I think Greek yogurt would have been a great addition to this just from what I'm tasting. It, it, Greek yogurt has a little bit of a sour taste and I think that this is sweet enough that a sour addition would have been a great addition. So I will definitely do it again with Greek yogurt because I have the ingredients and not with vodka. There are 72 new blends. I don't know how many of them I'm going to make. There's also smoothie bowl recipes in this. There's one that's called the Tropical Golden Smoothie. It calls for pineapple, mango chunks, kefir, which is kind of like a yogurty milk, chia seeds, fresh lime juice, and fresh ginger. And I think that sounds really good. There's also the Cinnamon Toast Cereal Smoothie. Honestly, for a smoothie, the, the macros aren't that bad. The only thing is getting a cup of unsweetened applesauce for that recipe. I, I wouldn't want to keep applesauce in my cupboards because I love applesauce and it's not in my plan. But maybe a little smell packet and I'll try that one next. Uh, I'm getting I'm getting smoothie excited. So I'm gonna go enjoy this and my eggs with spinach. Um, and then the plan for later is to go sailing. So stick around if you wanna see that. Okay, so I did lie to you guys. We are not going sailing today. Uh, the wind picked up. As far as the constant wind, it looked good. The gusts were going a little bit too heavy for us and we kinda need a win when it comes to sailing. Also, there was only like two good hours and we needed to leave a couple hours ago to get it. So we're going to do this bright and early tomorrow instead. We're going to be practicing with the wind, tacking back and forth, trying to go in and out of heavier wind areas and just really trying to get comfortable because the wind is going to pick up later in the day tomorrow, which will give us a good opportunity to be out there, kind of like getting our sea legs all ready. And then hopefully when the wind picks up, it'll kind of be just like a natural progression where we don't notice the wind as much. So that's the plan. We did think it through. We didn't just back out because we didn't feel like it, which is sometimes the case. <laughs> I did already make my dinner. I had a plan for it. I still had some quinoa. I still do. It makes a lot. So if you're making a cup of it, <laughs> just know you're going to have quinoa for a few days. I made a cup because that's what the recipe or how to cook quinoa told me how to do it. <laughs> but I have an extra is fine. I just put quinoa with chicken and then drizzled on a tablespoon of sweet and sour sauce and then drizzled on a teaspoon of teriyaki sauce. I do like the two kind of mixture playing off of each other. That's going to leave me at 345 calories for my dinner. And for a total, I will be 22 calories over. I will be at 1,422 calories. 118 carbs, 86 protein, which puts me 14 off of my goal. Wait, yeah? Yeah, 14. And 71 grams of fat. Uh, if I can really start pushing myself to get a little less carbs and a little bit more protein, I would be really happy with that. But I'm still pretty okay with this. Although I have, on a smaller calorie deficit, been able to get 100 grams a day consistently for a week. So maybe I need to push myself a little harder on that. Maybe not, I'm kind of also enjoying my meals lately and uh, that smoothie was worth it. I do think that I could have put a fourth instead of a half of a package of the cream cheese and put in at least a fourth of a cup of Greek yogurt in. So mistakes were made, but they're not catastrophic. <laughs> I also checked online. This book is online. It is behind a paywall, so I don't want to put their recipe up just because, you know, things that live on the internet for free are for free. They they don't have it up on the internet for free, so I don't want to step on any toes there. But you did watch my video, so if you want to follow along with it, I'm just making a recipe that is, you know, something I have at my house. <laughs> that being said, I do hope you try it. It is really good. I will be making more. I will not be making the whole book. 
So the link is in the description box below if you want it. Also, I do like having the book form so that I can cross out my notes so that I know not to add a whole half of a package and put in Greek yogurt. It, it helps me visualize and walk down the recipe when I don't have to worry about ads or scrolling and my written notes are right there. Uh, let me taste this real quick. It's good. I knew it would be. I've had quinoa before so I knew what the texture and taste would be. I knew it would pair well with chicken and I knew sweet and sour sauce with teriyaki sauce would kind of put it all together. So it's good to experiment with food because then you can make good food. And uh, other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow for some sailing. Bye. If you got the time.